This movie was great. It is my fifth, as of now, my fifth favorite movie in the MCU, and I just loved it. It was directed by Jon Favreau, which also played Happy in this movie perfectly. He is the definitive actor for Happy. I couldn't see anyone else playing Happy. Robert Downey Jr. has had a bit of a um, uh, sad past for him, but that didn't stop him from being awesome in this movie. Robert Downey Jr. killed it as Tony Stark. There is no one that can replace this guy's Tony Stark. He was the highlight of the movie. He's the highlight of every movie that he is in. And he is just such an amazing guy. He's Tony Stark in real life. Gwyneth Paltrow, I really enjoyed her as Pepper Potts. Um, she was actually really good as Pepper Potts, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, I liked her in this movie. Now, we were all surprised when she showed up in Spider-Man Homecoming. And there has been leaked photos of her for Avengers Infinity War, wearing her new wedding ring, which does signal that her and Tony do get married, in fact. Now, here's a few negatives. Uh, Jeff Bridges' villain, um, Obadiah Stane, was kind of weak. I mean, let's be honest. Nobody remembers this guy's villain. He was just so weak in the third act, in fact, more than any of the other acts. He was such a weak villain. And Jeff Bridges in a, in a superhero movie, how can that be forgettable? I don't know, but it was. Uh, Terrence Howard as Rhodey, I, I fairly enjoyed him. I mean, a few problems, but he was good. Now, as of who's best, him or Don Cheadle? Um, I'm kind of leaning t more towards, um, uh, Terrence Howard, because him and, uh, Robert Downey Jr. had kind of more chemistry, and I feel like he plays the character a slight bit better, but that's just me. The old guy who whose name I don't remember in the cave, I feel like he didn't really have to be in there. He was kind of just put in there to, yeah, make this movie emotional when he died. But Iron Man's time in the cave was, was some of my favorite in the movie. It was just so awesome. And when he escaped the Mark I, even though the Mark, Mark I looked shit compared to the other armors, it still looked pretty cool, actually. Now, going into this, I had no idea who Iron Man it was. I mean, I knew he was a guy in a metal suit, stuff like that, but I wasn't that familiar with comics back then. Um, Batman Begins was one of the main movies that got me into comics, actually. Uh, but yeah, um, this uh, this movie actually reminded me uh, reminded me a lot of Batman Begins at a lot of points, because... Um, like, the hero build-up in the beginning reminded me a lot of the beginning of Batman Begins. Now, you can't make an Iron Man review without talking about the post credit scene. Nick Fury, he, he was in, this was where he first appeared in this post credit scene, and he is awesome. And, I mean, when, when we first saw this, we had no idea they were building this big Marvel Cinematic Universe. We just thought, like, oh, cool, so maybe they're actually going to do the Avengers if this movie does well. Now, when this movie was announced, I thought it was going to be shit. I thought it was going to be the worst comic book movie ever, and I was so wrong. This is a really good movie. I would even go as far as to say it is a great movie. Um, I will also be, now I will be getting like a series of the Marvel Cinematic Universe reviews. I've already done Spider-Man Homecoming and Thor Ragnarok, which maybe at the time that I've done all of them, I will kind of refresh my thoughts on them by making their reviews again, but I don't know actually. But uh, yeah, this was my Iron Man review. My next review in the Cinematic Universe will be for The Incredible Hulk. Now I hope you enjoyed this video, because um, I enjoyed making it. And have a lovely day. Bye-bye.